I'm Dr. Big Brain, completely evil, a total genius, and surprisingly good cook. Who knew? Have you been watching Horrible Science on BBC iPlayer? If you have, you'll have no problem beating my horrifying human biology quiz. So set your brain to brilliant, and let's go! Dr. Big Brain's horrifying human biology quiz. Question one. According to science, who does more farts each day? Is it A, men, B, women, or C, they do the same amount? Need a clue? Everyone does it. Do you think you've got it right? Yes, it's C! In an experiment to measure how much people fart over 24 hours, it was discovered that men and women fart the same amount. We did it. Thanks to all the farts we collected, we now know that the average fart is 90 milliliters. We also know that the average person does around eight farts a day. But we discovered something else. Say it. Men and women fart pretty much exactly the same amount. We went too far! Wafting into a cinema near you soon, Fartenheimer. Yes, it's true, everyone farts, even me. <clears throat> Wait till that one gets to you. Question two. How many bones are there in an adult human's body? Is it A, 206, B, 506, or C, 1 million and six? Need a clue. Each hand has 27 bones, so that's 54 right here. All right, do you think you've got it? Well, if you said A, then curses. I mean, congratulations, you're right. The average adult human body has 206 bones. That's a lot of bones. Hello, everyone. Teddy's excited because here's Dr. Bones, the singing doctor. Hey, that's right. I'm Dr. Bones. Give me a cheer if you love head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yay! Me and Teddy love that song. Wrong! It's rubbish, because it misses out some of the best bits. Oh. We quite like it. Wrong again! Do you want to hear a cooler, more scientifically accurate version? I get the feeling you're going to give it to us anyway. Get ready for head, shoulders, knees and the other bones in the human body. All 206 of them. It's not a very catchy title. It's accurate. Hit it! Parietal, sphenoid, nasal bone, nasal bone. Parietal, sphenoid, nasal bone, nasal bone. Maxilla, boma, mandible and lacrimal. Parietal, sphenoid, nasal bone, nasal bone. 206 bones is all that was left of my last henchman after I dropped him into my ravenous shark tank. He'd forgotten the whipped cream on my jelly. Question three. When they're growing in their mummy's tummies, most human babies develop an extra body part that usually disappears before they're born. But what is it? A, an extra toe on each foot. B, a tail. Or C, a pair of wings. Need a clue. This extra part is there because humans originally evolved from monkey-like animals. So do you think you've got it? That's right, it's B, a tail. Little baby embryos grow a tiny tail, but it almost always disappears before the baby's born. And all that's left is a little tailbone. We call this a vestigial structure. That's a body part we don't need anymore. What am I like? Today, I've come to Southampton to help David say goodbye to some long, unused things. You've got a lot of tire, ain't ya? Do you think this will have to go then? Oh, I don't care about your boxes, babe. It's your bits I'm talking about. Oh, what bits? Us humans evolved from an animal which was much more ape-like, right? And we've still got some of them bits we had back then. My body's got ape bits. Sort of, but you ain't using them no more. They're called vestigial remains. Veggie yes. what now? Vestigial remains. Body clutter. Huh? For a start, You've got an extra muscle linking your wrist to your elbow, but you ain't using it no more. It don't make your arm no stronger. It's to help you hang from trees when your ancestors was more like apes. Oh, 
a connection to the distant past. I once used a, a powerful laser to get rid of a, a useless extra part. I think his name was Henchman Oliver, and he'd forgotten to dry clean my cape. <laughs> Question four. Around how many times does your heart beat each day? A, 1,000 times. B, 100,000 times. Or C, twice. Need a clue. Hearts normally beat around 60 to 100 times every minute, and there are 1,440 minutes in a day, so... All right, do you think you've got it? The answer, of course, is B, 100,000 beats each day, without you even thinking about it. Of course, your heart can beat even faster than 100 times a minute if you're scared, perhaps because I've fixed you with my most evil glare. Ooh, yes, yeah, see? Do you feel your... Your heart racing, isn't it? I, I, I bet you're quaking. No? Q question five. What happens inside our stomachs to turn the food we eat into energy? A, does a strong acid break down the food? B, does the heat of our body cook the food? Or C, does the food mix with our fart gases and explode? Need a clue. The same process that breaks food down and turns it into energy is also strong enough to kill any bad germs we might swallow. Do you think you've got it? The answer is A. Inside our stomach, an acid strong enough to dissolve some metals breaks down our food. This releases energy for our bodies. Luckily, there's a thick lining of stomach mucus which keeps the acid safely contained. Chief scientist Cartwright, what is it? I'm giving well, an interview to Weekly News Online. It's about your most recent health results. Is something wrong? We've uh, discovered a buildup of a substance in your stomach. It's highly corrosive and can destroy things. Corrosive? Yeah, it can burn through things. It's as powerful as hydrochloric acid, which can dissolve metal, and if it comes in contact with human flesh, it can eat right through it. You found a buildup of that inside of me? Yeah, I'm not sure how much. Whoa! A substantial amount. If I know anything about you, Madam President, it's that you will face this with maturity, grace, and a sense of calm. I'm doomed! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die! I need to confess! Madam President, it's... No! If this is how I'm gonna end, I need to get some things off of my chest. Uh, Madam President... Here I go. I did not write my autobiography. I just got a copy of Taylor Swift's and I changed the names. <sighs> Madam President... Shh! Last month, I caused an international incident by eating the Prime Minister of Great Britain's sandwich, <gasps> and I blamed it on the King of Spain. Madam President! It was a cheese and pickle sandwich. What was I supposed to do? I love cheese and pickle. Stomach acid may be strong, but I had this one henchman with breath that could knock you down at three meters. Luckily, I'm a doctor, so I knew just what to do. I dropped him into the piranha tank. So sad. Question six. Which of these body changes doesn't affect astronauts while they're in orbit on the International Space Station? A. Do their eyeballs change shape? B. Do their muscles waste away? Or C. Does their hair turn green? Need a clue. The lack of Earth gravity has something to do with it. So do you think you've got it? The answer is C. The astronaut's hair doesn't turn green. But without the Earth's usual gravity, fluids in their bodies move around, making their eyeballs change shape. Plus, their muscles can start to waste away because, well, they don't have to work as hard as they do on Earth. I've got to do this for two hours a day. Otherwise, my muscles won't work when I get home. At least the kneading or weeding gets better though, right? No, I still need to go. Ow! I forgot that I'm also five centimeters taller because of the lower gravity. Ow! I've just had my first space poo. I haven't been for a week. It's the lack of gravity. Things don't pass through you as quickly as they do on Earth. How did it go? Like passing a concrete sausage. Bye now. Hmm, sending people into space so their eyeballs get all squished up and their muscles waste away. I must remember that next time we're brainstorming ideas for hench people activity days. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, even I have to admit you did very well. Perhaps you've got what it takes to be one of my hench people, at least for a, a little while. <laughs> for more horrifying human biology facts, check out Horrible Science, available now on BBC iPlayer. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha! Uh.